Hey all, and welcome to this video about uh, how we can translate an ER diagram into the relational data model that we later on can use to implement in uh, MySQL, for instance. We have this uh, ER diagram. Um, we've got some employees, we have departments, we have projects, and then we have some relations, um, both one to many and many-to-many -many relations. We have uh, composite attributes, like the address and the name. We also have uh, multi-valued attributes and also derived attributes. Okay, so how do we convert this into the relational data model? First of all, there is a conversion guide that uh, contains uh, steps to how you can translate each type from the ER diagram uh, into the relational data model. And this is basically what um, what we will use to do this. So first of all, I'm gonna take each of these entities and make a table. First, I'm gonna make some room for this uh, diagram here. Um, first, we take the employee. We need to create a table for that. Go and select a table here. And this is draw IO that I'm going to use here because it's uh, free and well suited to make ER diagrams and also relational data models. Employee, uh, we will call that. It has a primary key of employee ID. We can see we have uh, a lot of attributes. We have also the gender. We have birth date, and then we also have these two composite attributes. And how do we convert them to the relational data model? Well, we take only the simple part. We cannot have any composite or multi-valued attributes when we convert it, so we will take the simple parts, the street, the postal code, and the city. So we will take street, I'm just going to duplicate that a couple of times. And we take the postal code and the city. All right. And if I can align this correctly. Then we have the name, which is also a composite attribute, and we follow the same procedure. We will take the simple atomic part, first name, initials, and last name. All right. Okay, so we have gender, we have birth date, we have streets, postal code, city, first name, initials, last name and the primary key. All right, this is one of the first table. Let's get a new one. We need one for department. And department has a department ID. We have a name. And then we got this multi-valued attribute called locations. And how should we translate that? Well we need to create a new table. Uh, well, we can just use this one here. Copy and paste. So we will call this location. We will make a primary key for it, location ID, and then the location. And this we will later on connect to this department and in order to connect this we will make in here we will create a uh, location id and this will be a foreign key because it will relate to this primary key over here all right so we have dealt with these then we need the project let's go and copy this one here And the project has project has a project ID. 
and also have a name and that is basically it all right so these are our four initial tables but then we have some uh, we have a couple of uh, relations between them we have three one to many relations and we have one many to many relation and if we start by if we start with the many many relation we can see here that an employee can work on multiple projects and a project can have multiple employees work on them so that's a many to many relation and uh, we need to uh, create a new table for this many to many relation uh, in able to uh, in order to store the data for this uh, for this relationship so we will take a new table here and we will call it works on because this is what it is called and it will have a combined primary key because we need both the primary key from employee and from the project so we will take employee id and also project id and any attributes connected to the relation will go onto the table as well so we have the hours how many hours an employee works on a project so we will type hours in here all right so now we have this relation between employee and project and this would be a line a little bit like this so we have this in between employee and project all right so now we got uh, one to many relation up here and here and also between department and project if we take one between department and project uh, we can see here um, a department controls uh, one or more projects and a project can be controlled by only one department so um, we need to take the primary key from the one side from the department side, meaning the department ID, and we need to store that uh, on the many side, on the project. So on the project, we will add a new value called department ID. This is gonna be a foreign key. This way we are able to see uh, on each project what department is controlling it, all right? So now we have the two remaining uh, one to many relations up here. We got the works for and the managers. Uh, so an employee works for a department, only one department, and a department can have one or more employees working for them. And we do the same thing here. We take uh, the primary key from the one side, from department, and put it on the many side, on employee. So we take department ID, and put it on employee. This will become a foreign key that references department ID. And the other way around, we have an employee that can manage uh, one or more departments and a department can only have one employee as a manager. So we're gonna take uh, the employee ID and put it on the department because it is the many side. Okay, so we will take the employee ID. Let's see if we can put that on here. Employee ID. And put it on as a foreign key. All right. So now we're able to see on a department which employee is managing it. Uh, there is actually one thing we need to do still. We got this start date. Uh, that is attached to the managers and we need to put that on uh, this um, this department here so we will make a new attribute called start date and this is just a, a normal attribute I'm gonna just put it up here all right if we should put any uh, if we should put some links to this 
then we can see here that uh, the, the employee ID comes from employee and the project ID comes from project and we can see here that the department ID references department let's see if we can organize this a little bit better project should go up here have our location that should be that is pointing here the foreign key location ID is pointing to the location there and we have our we have our employee and finally we have the department ID that is pointing towards department all right, so now we have converted this ER diagram into a relational data model. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.